Hello Physics Nation, my name is Nate Larmond and I'd like to walk through some simple coding with you. Uh, this is robot C, so up here is the beginning of the program. Oh, I just cheat with the pragma statements and use the preloaded uh, PoE testbed. Anyway, here's the beginning task main, here's the opening curly bracket. This is my infinite while loop. Please check the bump switch value forever. So if the bump switch returns one, I'm asking it to do this sensor value little subroutine. I'm asking, um, here's the uh, sonar. If it's closer than 20 centimeters, uh, it comes down to the else region. So it turns the motor negative, I guess. The servo motor goes negative, the LED goes off, and the flashlight goes off. But if the sonar value is greater than 20 centimeters, then all of this stuff is executed. So this bump switch is sort of the gatekeeper to the uh, sensor value trick. So the bump switch is right here. The sensor value measures this linear distance. Uh, here's my servo, this big sprocket, and then my two motors are these two little gears. So, oh, if the bump switch returns zero, that's this else statement down here. So the motors just turn off, everything turns off, and the servo uh, gets back to its neutral position, 12 o'clock right here. So let's see if it works. We're going to download it. I always get this compiler error. I don't know why. I'm going to start the debugger. Oh, it's hard to read, but the um, sonar is returning 118 centimeters down here. And the bump switch is returning zero. So let's start the debugger. And as you can see, nothing really happens with the sonar until you hit the bump switch. And there it is. It's the magic. Um, bump switch controls this little sonar threshold deal. I think it's magic. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.